Does it fill you with confidence when hunters who join your SOSs look like absolute units who can beat the hell out of any monster? Do you want to instill that same confidence in your teammates when you join their quest? Well then have I got the thing for you. Here are my favorite looking layered weapons for each of the 14 weapon classes in Monster Hunter World and Iceborne. Starting off at number 1 we have Greatsword and my choice is the Wyvern Ignition. What could be more kickass than a rocket powered Greatsword? That's right, nothing. Plus, this design literally won a contest to be put into the game by Capcom, so you know that it's absolutely the slickest. Moving on to number 2, Longsword, I opted for the Stygian Zenogar Longsword. Now some of these aren't going to be super unique options that can only be put on this weapon type, and the Stygian Zenogar Laird is available for every weapon class, but something about it on the Longsword is just so clean. Maybe I'm just a sucker for red and black, or maybe the red flickering lightning makes me feel at one with the spirit gauge. Whatever the reason is, you can't go wrong with this layered longsword. Number three, for the sword and shield, I went for the Guild Palace. The Guild Palace weapons are, without a question, some of the best looking weapons in the game. The sword and shield, of course, being no exception. The color scheme and design give off a great royal vibe that other hunters are sure to notice and appreciate. Moving on to dual blades, I like the Yin Garuga. The open fan design of the Garuga dual blades is just perfect, and the color scheme is easy to match up with your armor, and overall I think they just look very flowy and dynamic. If someone joined my hunt rocking these, I'd absolutely give them my nod of approval. For the hammer, I like the Shara Ishvalda. It's a big open palm that you can use to bitch slap monsters right on the forehead. Do I really need to elaborate any further? For the hunting horn, I like Zenogar. There's nothing sicker than shredding some sick licks on an electric guitar, and the Zenogar hunting horn makes me feel like I'm in some dope metal band where we shred riffs, buff up, and beat the hell out of monsters. This design just makes you unleash your inner metalhead. Number 7, the lance, I opted for the second fleet lance. As you may have noticed, I actually really like a good gold accent on a weapon or just anything in general. The second fleet lance is so different from your typical monster hunter style lance, but gives an air of elegance and prowess. It's sure to strike fear into any monster and garner nothing but respect from your compatriots. For charge blade we of course have the black eagle. This is the best looking weapon in the game objectively. I'll hear no other opinions on this one, you cannot change my mind. This weapon also won a design contest to make it into the game. So if that many people think it's the best, then it definitely has to be. Moving on to number 9, the Switch Axe. I like the Velcana weapons. I think they have a kind of eerie beauty to them. The frozen ice style matched with the intricate gold inlay I don't think really will ever go out of style. These are a great look for any weapon, but the Swax is definitely my favorite to pop this one onto. Just real quick, if you guys are enjoying the content so far, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Monster Hunter content like this, including sets, guides, hidden facts, and much more. Over 90% of people watching in the last month aren't subscribed, and you can always change your mind later if you find the content isn't up to your liking. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back into the weapons. At number 10, we have Gunlance. I opted for Alatreon. This monster is so OP that it literally review-bombed Iceborne on its own, it has a nice eye-catching color scheme with the deep black offset by the nice pink glow. This design is just objectively cool, and you really can't go wrong with this one. Up next is Insect Glaive. I like the Gay Bulg. The Final Fantasy crossover brought us arguably the hardest monster of base world with Behemoth and Extremeth, but it also gave us a sleek yet sharp looking Insect Glaive. Also don't sleep on the Dragon Soul Kinsect, but I'll leave that up to your own discovery. For Heavy Bowgun, it admittedly is lacking a very obvious flair, so I again return to Guild Palace for this one. It's just so clean, the design is nice and sleek and slim and it won't obstruct your view during a hunt, and you can pair it with most armor sets for a powerful looking build. For the Light Bowgun, I went with the Onigashima. I chose this one because it's definitely one of the most simplistic designs in Monster Hunter World and Iceborne. It's not over the top or flashy, it's just a solid looking weapon that will match up with any armor set you throw at it and just overall really fits the vibe of Light Bowgun. Finally, for bow, my choice is Kushala. Do you want to feel like a Roman charioteer or a Mongolian horse rider? 
Yeah, me too, and that's why the Kushala Bow is my choice for the best bow layered option. It's got one of the coolest designs for an in-game monster weapon, a good color scheme, which makes it a great weapon to design an epic layered set around. What layered weapon did I leave out of this list that you would include? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, a like would be super appreciated as it helps other hunters find this video. Again, if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, I cover tons more Monster Hunter content covering all facets of the game, so be sure to subscribe for more. With all that said, I want to thank you guys again for watching today's video. I wish you all a good day and happy hunting.